Yep, so I'm at Logan Fontenelle in Bellevue. We're at a middle school right now. And as you said, this is the other designated site in Nebraska. There's only two places, the one in Beatrice and the one here. So these children, they're learning a lot about the safety of the solar eclipse and how to be safe and kind of what it's all about. And right now you can just see all these kids are coming out on this football field right now because they are getting a day of solar eclipse fun. They're going out, they're eating their lunches right now. There's about 500 kids here and they're just having a super fun time. So what I know is they're going to eat some lunch and then they're just going to have a fun activity day. And I almost think of it as like a field day. When I was in school, they're going to have all these activities. There's like a photo booth. There is an, an app that is actually, this is where I'll probably be, is where it's an app where you can, it's like for hearing impaired, or, or I'm sorry, seeing impaired who can't see the eclipse and you can feel it on your phone. And um, I was talking to the teacher who actually put all this together. She's the one who got the designated site, put all this together. She She's super stoked, everyone's super excited, and we got to talk to her a little bit earlier on in today. Oh my goodness, the excitement level is through the roof in the building. They cannot wait to come outside, and I think they're really excited about eating their lunch outside under the eclipse and on the track. They think that's cool. They've brought blankets, they've brought hats, they've brought sunscreen. We're ready for a great event. Just the whole vibe in the school is so positive and so ready for this event to happen. So of course, what you're seeing again is the students coming out here. I said they're eating their lunches and then the activities are getting started at about noon, 11 to 50 noon. And I know I can't wait to see these activities. I can't wait to get involved in the activities myself and see what these kids are excited about, what they really um, want to do. And you know, they all have their safety glasses. I've seen, seen some of the students coming out with their safety glasses. I was told that there is an activity involving hula hoops. So you might see me later later on involved in some hula hoops action or something. So right now uh, we're going back out to Nick Starling. He is in Ravenna. Nick, what do you got? <laughs> 